Next question is, which statement is true about the displacement? The first statement is, it cannot be zero. The statement is saying that displacement cannot be zero. But student, you know, when the object is starting from any point and it moves to B and then finally it moves to again at point A, this point A is its initial position as well as final position. In this situation, the displacement is zero. Hence, you can say this statement is false about the displacement. Second, second statement is its magnitude is greater than the magnitude of this distance. Is it right or wrong? This, you know that displacement is the shortest path traveled by the object. When the object is moving, its distance and displacement both can be equal only when it is moving in a single straight line. Otherwise, it is the shortest path. That's why the displacement can never be greater than the distance. So, this statement is again false. The displacement can be less than or equal to the distance. The next question is, under what condition the magnitude of average velocity and average speed are equal. This situation is again the situation when the distance and displacement are equal. And distance and displacement are equal only in the situation when the particle or the object is moving in a single straight line in one direction only. In that situation, speed is equal to velocity. Now the next question is, which quantity is measured by the odometer? Odometer is a device which is used to measure the distance travelled by the object. This odometer has the units meter and kilometer as well. It measures the distance of the object. Now next question is, what does the path of an object look like? in uniform motion. Uniform motion means when the object is traveling equal distances in equal interval of time. In that situation, the path may be a single straight line, the path may be a curved line and the path may be a zigzag line and it may be a circular path. This graph is only for the situation of rest and it is only when if the graph is VT graph. But if it is XT graph, the graph is inclined to the time axis. Again, this is a straight line. So you can say that the path of the object may be for the VT graph parallel to the time axis. It is a straight line. For XT graph, it is again a straight line, it may be a curved line, a zigzag line or a circle.